Welcome. In today's discussion, I would want us to focus on Mamle Willow's novel, The Kaya Girl. This novel is an interesting one and being enjoyed by senior high school students all around Ghana at the moment because finally they are going to be examined on it during their final exams. In this lesson, I would want us to focus on three important things. The first is characters and characterization in the novel. We would also explore and identify some characters in the novel and talk about a particular character, Abna, in the novel. Now, let's first look at this important term, characters. What are characters in a novel? A character is simply referred to humans, animals, or abstract ideas who are identified in a novel, and they act in the novel. And these persons, animals, or ideas perhaps used are given roles to play. The roles being given to these characters, that is what is being referred to as characterization. In characterization, we simply get to know whether these characters play a major role or they play a minor role. Now let's focus on some of the characters in the Kaya Girl. We can have Abna as a major character in there and Pfizer and these two are the best of friends and the whole story is about them. You can also talk about Asana who is Pfizer's sister. We can go down and talk about the Fosu family where we talk about Michael, Michael Fosu, Stephen Fosu and also their sisters and parents. We can talk about Auntie Lydia who Abena visited at Makola during her vacation and Gifty who works with Auntie Lydia at her shop. These are some characters in the novel. Now let's go down and talk about Abena who is considered a major character in the novel. Abena is also called Roberta, Roberta Fusu as she was later called and Abi as her father calls her. Abna is a Tuesday born. Abna, as suggested from the name, is Anakan born on Tuesday. Abna is used throughout the novel and later realized that she is also called Roberta. Abna is 14 years old when the story began and the story began at Makola, a market in Accra, a very big market in Accra. And Abna has visited her auntie Lydia at Makola for her vacation. Abna's father is a doctor and he specializes in tropical medicine. Abna's mother from the beginning of the novel had traveled abroad to give birth to Abna's brother who is Kwesi. Abna attends the American school. When we read page 11, page 65, and page 72, there is evidence to suggest that this American school is here in Ghana and not in America. Abna tells us a little about her school life. Abna discusses the flamboyant lifestyle she enjoys with her mates at school. Now, during vacation, while Abna spent hers at Makola, some of her mates spend years at London. For instance, Abna's classmate Alex Ampofo visited an aquarium in Dubai. Helena Usu, Abna's mate, also visited London for shopping. And some foreign children went back home and visited beautiful places. Regardless of this flamboyancy, Abna is a very humble person. Judging from her parent, Abna is not very fluent when it comes to the vernacular, tree to be specific. 
Now, this is seen in Abner's reaction when Gifty does react to certain things or make comments about certain things in a shop. One day, when Gifty made comments about kissing, especially she has been kissed before, Abner actually did not like the fake lifestyle of Gifty. Abner was contracted by her auntie Lydia to go and call a kaya to come and carry the load of a customer and that is when Abna met Faiza. Abna was fascinated by Faiza's smile and immediately Abna liked Faiza and this is seen in Abna's humble nature. Abna began by speaking pre with Faiza. Abna's pre wasn't very good and we know why because of Abner's home and the school Abner attends. Also, when Abner met Faiza, we could see that Abner immediately liked Faiza, judging from Faiza's smile. Faiza became Abner's best friend at Makola. Abner, who hadn't enjoyed a lot lifestyle as Faiza now enjoys, is exposed to the market by a friend, Faiza. Faiza shows Abna places in the market and also sends her to stores where they sell local foods. Abna and Faiza became very good friends. Abna, while with Faiza, envied some aspect of Faiza. This envy shouldn't be taken the wrong way. No, Abna liked Faiza so much. This envy is a positive one. Among the things that Abner envied about Faiza, one is her strength. Judging from her small body and how she is able to carry heavy loads on her neck. Two is Faiza's stature. Abner says there is something small about Faiza's smallness. Three is the freedom Faiza enjoys. No one tells Faiza what to eat where to sleep and when to sleep. And the fourth is Pfizer's strength and her courage in adversity. Abna and Pfizer continued their journey at Makola until Pfizer was accused of stealing 50 Ghana cities from Auntie Lydia's tray. Pfizer did not do it. Abna tried to defend her friend, but unfortunately, all evidence had pointed to Faiza because she was a poor Kaya girl. Abna got very sick after this incident. This ended her vacation at Makola. At home, Abna's parents tried to comfort her very, very much. Abna, after Makola, went back to school and we could see how she continued to think about Faiza, even writing a book and titling it The Kaya Girl. Five years after Makola, Abna attends the University of Ghana, Lagan, to read a BA in English language. Abna is admitted at the Ekuafu Hall, where she has Bia as her mate, her, her roommate, who also becomes her maid of honor during her wedding. One day at the university, when Abna with her friend Tio, who had started to develop a romantic interest in Abna, attended a theatrical program, Abna met Mike Lofusu, whom he had met at Makola in one of her expeditions with her friend Faiza. Abna loved Michael Fusu. Their reunion rekindled their friendship. Michael Fusu, who at that time was a final year student, left soon. Five years after Abna had met Michael Fusu, they got married. So Abna now becomes Roberta. Abna Fusu. Three years after their marriage, Michael and Abna gave birth to two beautiful children. The first 
is Charlie. And judging from the name, it's assumed that Charlie was named after Michael Ofosu's father, who is Charles Ofosu. Also, their second daughter, Pfizer, who Abna named after her friend Pfizer. Pfizer was the one who operated on Abna to deliver the daughter. And she took really good care of her. This is the character Abna. And as we've discussed, we took her character right from Makola and then we moved down when she was in the university and then when she got married to Michael Fusu, having her two children. She is the narrator of our novel and also a very humble person. If I missed something, I want you to help me out. Why don't you also write in the comment section what you had seen or identify about Abner's character. And also, I would want you to pause this video and answer the questions on the screen. This is the end of our lesson. And in our next lesson, we would be discussing Pfizer, Abner's best friend. See you again next time.